And a very gray sky out there early this afternoon in downtown Hagerstown. Quite the opposite from what we had yesterday. That temperature has been cooler as well for the most part now. We're only at 64 degrees, but when these clouds start to break up later this afternoon, it will certainly warm up at least into a comfortable upper 70s for many of us. And you can see where some of the clearer sky is located. Yeah, we're still in the middle 60s across Maryland, especially right along the Mason Dixon line. But you head down into northern Virginia already into the lower 70s. They've seen a little bit of sunshine the further south that you go, of course, here. And again, there is the cloud cover again, not so much as you drop down Interstate 81 and also down south of the DC Metro, but still plenty of clouds back off to the north that is limiting that daytime heating so far today. So something that we will be watching, but also that rain shower activity well it dissipated out very easily again through the late morning hours. So those skies will be clearing out the rest of the afternoon as we stay dry. Then starting tonight, going through the next few days, it is going to be hot and humid across the viewing area for sure. And we are expecting with that heat and humidity tomorrow, some storms around sunset that could turn a little bit more on the severe side. Check it out here again. We are in the slight risk for severe weather. Pretty much the entire four state region. You drop down into central Virginia, things at least letting up a little bit because those storms will be going from north to south and they will be waning as they drop from north to south tomorrow afternoon and evening. So let's check it out here on future track. Again, a lot of clouds still going to be out there, but notice that clearing line. It's already into northern Virginia in spots and it will continue to make its way into the north and east the rest of the afternoon, turning us more partly cloudy for the overnight hours. And again, we stay quiet all the way into your Wednesday morning and even into the afternoon. This is when we'll really start to crank up those temperatures is tomorrow afternoon and then that cold front starts to approach later tomorrow evening. And notice again, there's those storms that are going to be around as we head towards 8 o'clock and beyond. They'll be weakening, though, thankfully enough, once we get past sunset. So some good news there. Again, the severe threat looks to be between 7 and 10 o'clock, but those storms will be weakening at the very least. And as we get into Thursday afternoon, another chance for some scattered showers and storms with the heat of the day. And look at this again tonight. We're talking about temperatures only down into the middle and upper 60s as that humidity really builds. And tomorrow afternoon, there it is. We're going to be the upper 80s to lower 90s throughout your Wednesday, not cooling off at all either into Thursday morning and much of the same, not quite 90s, but we're still talking about well above average in the middle and upper 80s on Thursday. So this afternoon, if you're not a fan of that, enjoy it while it's here. We're going to pretty much be getting into the 70s with those clouds again breaking up as we approach the three o'clock hour. And on that seven day forecast, yes, indeed, we're talking about just that heat, humidity, that daily chance for showers and storms, not a washout, but it'll be there all the way into the weekend.